All right, for all you hobby hounds, I've got something special for you this time. For somebody that just can never get enough kits to build, how about the Battleship Yamato? I know a lot about them. This is another one of the Metal Earth kits. These are laser-cut metal sheets. They come in flat cardboard envelope. And it's really interesting. What you do is you take these flat metal pieces and you shape them into 3D different parts and pieces. An exceptionally fun kit. Lots and lots of directions. And what do you see about the directions? Well, there's very few words. My kind of directions. I like lots of pictures, not too many words. Now, there's lots and lots of parts in this kit, so you really got to be careful about which part you are using, which part is where, and sometimes there's multiple parts of the same thing. Now, this kit comes exquisitely painted. It's a beautiful job. It makes it really easy. All you got to do is put it together and you're done. Now, you will need a bunch of tools. Keep in mind that you're taking flat metal sheets and forming them into all kinds of interesting 3D shapes to fit together. I have a lot of fun with these. Now, you don't glue them together. You don't solder them together. They have this ingenious method of pins and slots. And you put the pin in and either give it a 90 degree twist or push it over. Now, you do have to keep track of which parts you have used and which parts you have not used. And what I do, I just simply mark them off as they go. Now, never, ever, ever break these parts off. Always nip them. I find a sharp pair of micro nippers to work the best. You can get away with a sharp razor knife, but eh, it's better. Anyway, what you do is you're making these little mini kits. You're making these little subsections, and you keep putting them together and piling them up, piling them up. It's cool. I love this kit. It's amazingly intricate with an amazing amount of detail involved. Not only the bits, but also the etching. Now, these are the only parts that aren't flat when they come. These are the gun barrels. These actually are round. Everything else is flat. And here you go. You see the guns going together. Once again, you just put one on top of another. Now, you do have to keep track of what's going where because different guns go in different places. And usually, they have some kind of an etched thing to show you. Now, once again, these tabs sometimes don't always fit in just the way they want them. So what I do is I stick my razor knife in, give it a little twist, opens up the metal a little bit, makes it much easier to shove them in. Now, look at all that detail. And I want to caution you to make sure to put the right tabs in the right spots, because if you get them in the wrong spots, they're a bugger. And here's the last major assembly going together. It holds together the two sides of the metal decking. You got to work on that. Okay, so now it's time to put the hull together. Now remember that there's a whole bunch of different connection points, so you really got to pay attention and you got to really look closely. I ended up using my magnifying glasses all the time. And here's the bottom going in. And I did have to kind of force things a little bit and push and shove and bend things. It is metal after all. And here's the first Yamato. What do you think? I think it came out great. It's an amazing model. It took me about oh, 12 hours to construct. 12 fun-filled hours, I should say. They even give you a little stand to put it on. And boy, talk about detail. This was a wonderful, fun trip. Now, you might be saying, well, how big is this? Well, battleships are big, right? And so is this one. It's just a little under 12 inches long. So it's a big kit. Now, here's looking at some detail. Now, you notice that the hull is blue. That's because it's reflecting the water tarp that I have underneath it. Look at all the detail. Look at, How can they get all that detail in these little metal kits? It, it just amazes me. I have so much fun with these. Look at all the detail. I just want to go on the real boat. Well, okay, I'd have to go swimming. Matter of fact, I like these boats so much, I bought a second one because the Amato had a twin sister. So why not have both? Yeah, yeah. So here are some fun pictures of it out there in the open ocean, motoring along, going to sea, and here it is in port. I got to say that this is... I don't know, certainly in one of my top 10 models. And these Metal Earth people put all kinds of different kits out. 
Here are some of the kits that I've built. I got some other ones too. I didn't want to fill it up too much. So anyway, you should go and have a look at their webpage. They have a ton of stuff, ton of cool stuff to go look at. So go there. Well, thanks for joining me. Come back again soon. Bye, guys.